while I was working with my dad before I moved to Wolf, um, the actual carpet and the polish are clean. It's not too glamorous, but um, honestly, I, I probably would still be, I would have done that with him, and I've now maybe taken over from where he was. So it would be something quite difficult. I, I remember obviously doing the work with him, um, and it's and it's difficult stuff. So I admire how he how he's managed to raise a family and raise seven of us doing that. So it would probably be, probably would have followed him. Um, I guess the kind of sacrifice sometimes you have to make in terms of um, around Christmas time, around, around New Year, um, you know, the kind of events that you kind of, ever you get to, people get to enjoy your family, but then I'll be in a hotel or, um, or off playing, playing a game somewhere. I guess it's only a small thing, but just something like that where you wish you could kind of spend those times with your family. Pace, oh, the pace is a bit slow. Uh, no, that looks quite generous actually, most of it. They have my passing at 88, which is nice, and my defending at 87. I didn't realise it was that good. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, and it's a nice picture as well for once. Uh, Arsenal, yeah, I mean, uh, I think that will always be my dream, kind of, no matter, no matter where I play. If, um, if that day was ever come, I'd be a happy day. I mean, I have, I have pictures at home of me wearing all the kids growing up, Burr Camp on the back, everything. Because um, my mum's half Dutch and obviously he's, he's Dutch. So, um, yeah, probably Arthur, no, not probably, definitely be Arthur. Pre-game rituals, no, not really, just kind of not think about the game really pre-game before we, before we get to the stadium I'm kind of people, you might see people sometimes they just don't go on the phone or whatever and they just want to focus on the game, I'm not kind of like that, I kind of just act totally normal until the time actually comes where you're going out for your warm up and then I start to focus on the game and I guess the one thing that I always do is I always have, always have to come out when, when the teams are coming out after the goalkeeper and I don't know, I don't know why, it's just always going to happen so I always end up, I always now that it's happened, I always make sure that I'm behind uh, Rui or John Rudy or everything go um, when we walk out. I would definitely play the FA Cup semi-final last season against Watford again. And um, I don't know how we were stopping getting two goals in the last five minutes, but um, I would do anything to just... Because we played a perfect game for so long, for about 80 minutes, and. Um, I, maybe, maybe we thought we were in the final, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I just kind of can't really explain what happened after that. Um, and that, re that really affected us, for me anyway, for, for a few weeks after that, I was so, so upset with that. So if I could go back, I'd probably go back and, and change the result in that game if I would. Referee. Ronaldo. Oh because I think Messi would be harder. <laughs> one horse sized duck around duck sized horses. One horse sized duck, I think if I even said that right there, did I? Minus five. She's like, it's too big, definitely. <laughs> Tony Short, definitely, but nobody could see it then. <laughs>